Welcome to SeedProd. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add particle effects in WordPress by using SeedProd. Here we can see a quick example on the background where you can see these particles floating around. This is just one of many, many combinations of particle effects that you can create. You can fully customize the look and the colors, the speed, the size, everything about it. And we also have the option of adding your own custom particles if you wanted to do so. SeedProd is the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder. And to grab your copy, you can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. I'm also gonna leave a link to a video on how to install SeedProd just so we can save a little bit of time in this video. Go ahead and click on that if you need help installing SeedProd. I'm gonna be using the pro version of SeedProd in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Here I am in the WordPress dashboard in the admin area. And on the left-hand side, we can see we have SeedProd here. You can add the particle effects to landing pages or your theme itself. I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a simple landing page here for this example. Keep in mind the process is the same for adding the particle effects to either the theme builder website or the landing pages. So here I'm just going to set up a test landing page and I'm going to click on add new landing page. Seaport's going to ask you to choose a new page template and we have many, many different options here. I'm just going to pick a random one for now. I'll just select this one here. It's a keto sales page. We can click the icon here and put in a test name. Next, I'll click on save and start editing the page. Now this will open the seed prod page builder where we can see all of the different sections and the rows and the columns, and we can modify and edit any piece of this. So what I want to do is add a particle effect to the background here at the top. For the particle effect to work right now, we have to select the section and we'll come under the section here. We can see we're editing the section and all of the options with the background. And there's other sections on the page too. So if I come down, here's another section here, this big white part here and here's another one at the bottom so if we come to the top let's do one for the header and we'll select the advanced tab here and we'll actually see the option here for particle background we can open this up and we can enable particle background so here you can see the default particle effect and you can fully customize this so here under style we have polygon we can try space we can try snow we can try snowflakes we can do christmas we also have halloween and of course you have a custom one here and here you can copy and paste your own custom JSON for the particle effect that you want. And I'll show you how to do custom particle effects in a future video. For this video, I'm going to do space. And this is similar to the example that I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to bring the opacity down a little bit. So it's a little bit more faint to see, and you can change the flow direction. Now this one kind of floats in all directions. So it doesn't matter a whole lot for this one. And then the color here, we can change it to whatever makes sense. We are showing, it looks like some type of grill, maybe a restaurant. So again, maybe a fiery look would look kind of neat, like there's sparks or something coming off the, the grill or the flame. Again, you can customize this fully to have you, however you like. We also have advanced options here, the settings. So let's turn these on. We can change the number of particles. So if we put this up, you can see there's a lot more. Keep in mind that this might affect lower end PCs and their animation effects. It might actually lag out their machine a little bit. So be careful of how many you add, but overall it should be optimized pretty well. So you can add a lot here. And right now the speed's pretty quick. Here we have the particle size, so you can make them bigger if you like. Probably a little bit too big for my example, but if you slowed it down, it might not look as bad. And of course, I'll just put this back down to a smaller size. So there we go. I think that looks good. And down here we have the enable hover effect. So right now it's not working in the preview here, but if we save this, we can actually save and then preview a live preview of it. And then if we mouse over, you can actually see that they will disappear and it just brings a little bit more attention. It's just a subtle effect here. And there you go, that's all there is to it. You can just continue to edit your page, make sure you save your changes and then check out your preview, make sure everything looks great. And that's how to add particle effects in WordPress by using seed prod. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel and check out these videos for more seed prod tutorials. And to see why seed prod is the number one choice for WordPress website builders. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.